Okay, so Jason, just to recap here, it is a three step process. The first step is to get the tire around the entire rim flat. Correct. The second step is to get one side of the tire in the middle of the rim. Yes. Really muscle through it. You shouldn't have to muscle through it. But I'm just strong, just get it on there. As we demonstrated earlier, it's a pretty easy process to get that first bead on. So you don't want to use your big strong muscles to like... There's no need to. Okay. All right, so step two is getting the middle of the tire in the rim. Correct. And then step three is to get the other side on the actual inside of the rim. That's right. Now, every single time that you are doing step one, step two, and step three, you want to start with the valve on the bottom. Yes. And you work your way eventually to where you're turning the rim over and you're going to the top of the valve stem. You always want to finish at the valve stem. Right. Whether that's up or above. Up, down, off to the side. Okay. You pick. Yeah. But the reality of it is, is you shouldn't have to muscle a lot of a wheel and a tire in order to get it installed correctly. That's the whole point, correct? That's the point. I mean, at the end, if you have a little bit of extra tension in the tire, as you saw earlier, a quick flip at the tire lever and we're good to go. Right. So if you take an hour to put a tire on a wheel, you're doing it wrong. You're doing something wrong, yes. And you should probably re-watch this video. I would recommend it, yes. Okay, great. Now, next step is to seat the tire, correct? Correct. You did the NV wheel, I did the zip wheel, right? Um, there's plenty of other wheels out there. Um, obviously, um, you've got vision, you've got um, head, you've got bond trigger, you've got wheels, Kadex, wheels galore out there, right? Now, what's the very first thing that anyone should do before installing a tire onto a wheel? My recommendation is check tire and wheel compatibility. Um, this can be done in a couple different steps. The first step, check the tire manufacturer's uh, design of the tire. Is it hookless compatible in the case of the NV or the Zip? Uh, if it's not, don't use it. If it is, then I would move over to the NV or Zip or other wheel website and check out their hookless tire compatibility guides and they will have their own test standards and approved tires listed as well. At the end of the day, you can't solely rely upon this YouTube video in order to figure out exactly the uh, proper insulations for tires and tire pressure when it comes to wheels. That's not the purpose of this. The purpose of this is to tell and teach everybody the three easy steps in order to get a challenge handmade tire on a different assortment of wheels that are out there that they may own and operate. Correct.